Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those handles, friends. So he, here's the deal with when you get Buck in here. Sorry, friend, or you got Buck and Billy right here. If you're wondering, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, <laughs> oh, I like axes. Oh, when you have grain like this, friends, straight up and down, it's not necessarily the greatest thing okay there are and, and what happens if you're not careful is because the grain's growing straight this it's strong yes please don't get me wrong but so is this if you know how to swing an axe see i'm one of those kind of guys i put it on the user i do i, I put it i put it on the user and the person who's but educate yourself friends educate yourself there's so much information on the internet but you know what there is there's information on the internet that says Oh, oh, don't, 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 uh, don't buy heartwood. Don't, don't, you don't want that. Or you don't want uh, uh, horizontal grain. You, you know, 45 is acceptable. Yes, that's fine. I say 45 is acceptable because it is. And so is horizontal grain. It's defect in the handle you got to watch out for. That's just my opinion. Remember, there's a lot of opinions out there. Well, my opinion as an ax user for 40 freaking years of my life. Actually, that's not true. Longer than that. I can't even believe I'm saying that. I'm 49 years old and I've been swinging an ax since I've been five years old, but I wasn't all concerned about grain orientation at five years old, let's be honest. Anyways, professionally for 25. Listen, friends, grain orientation, don't run your life on it. Just, just don't run your life on it. Look for defect and major run out. If you know how to swing it, give me a handle that has defect. Give me a handle that has uh, uh, horizontal grain in it. Get, give it to me and, and I'll swing it. I'll take that one. You take the straight grain handle. You, you, you take the good one, okay? And I'll, I'll use the other one. Uh, see, I, I, I'm... If you know what you got in your hands, if you know that you've got a handle that maybe has this or that, you're gonna, you should be using your axes in a certain way that, I've seen people dig their ax into a piece of wood and, and go to twist the piece of wood and snap the head right off the handle. I've seen it happen. It's like, you can't really do that. You, should, you shouldn't really do that to your axes. Give it a tweak, maybe see if it'll handle it, but not the snap oleo stuff. All I'm saying, friends, is grain orientation is something to pay attention to most definitely, but if it's not horizontal, or, or pardon me, if it's not vertical, don't lose your brains. Don't, don't get all excited. It's not the end of the world, friends. Look for defect. Look for, like, and, and again, heartwood, friends. I'll tell you honestly, I've got handles that are heartwood. I, I'm not massive on heartwood, but I'm just saying, if you're looking for a handle in the in the freaking shop there, in the hardware store, whatever it is, if heartwood runs this way, or there's a little piece of heartwood on the outside of the handle, don't 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 get your knickers in a knot. You know, if it runs down the handle like this, and there's a separation like this, that's not a good thing because there's a seam there, and your 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 power's going down. Okay, if it's running this way, that's okay with me. I've got handles. I, I, I actually my freaking uh, my my gorilla that gorilla axe. I murdered it yesterday splitting that wood. You guys haven't seen that video yet. It's uh, it's got hurt wood in it, friends. I'm, I'm just saying, don't don't run your life on grain orientation. Use your common sense. Take a look at the handle. If you see a defect or something like a knot or a twisted or gnarly grain or a swoopy doop. Take a look. Don't worry about this. This, give it a shot. The only thing I do like about vertical grain axes is this, friends. Is that when you have vertical grain on your handles, you get this gorgeous, gorgeous flat grain. The axe looks just beautiful. This is landfill's axe. And it just, I, I, I just burnt it. The last video you've seen, I'm just playing around tonight with some bids, friends, because I like seeing you guys. So the head's on, it's seated, it's freaking ready to go. It's, a, it's amazing. It's dead center, straight up and down skis. Um, but it, it's an octagon handle, it's beautiful. But that's what I like about it, okay, friends? 
it is. That's what I like about um, vertical grain. Now I want to show you something here. Let, let's do this together. Let's let's tilt this a little teeny bit, skis here. Oh, look at this. Well, hello. Mm-hmm. Need it. Okay. Have you ever seen this little thing? Let's give it a shake. There's Watka in here. You know what I mean? Let's shake it up. Shake it up. Let's grab a rag. I, I want to do something to hero. A something to hero. Tonight with the you or tonight here uh, on the channel of uh, the Billy Array. Uh, we have the watka mixed into the uh, oil on the rag here and we are putting it on the axe handle. Look what happens to the axe handle, friends, when I do this. It is freaking amazing, okay? Look at what just happened, landfill rat. Come on. Come on. This is, this is crazy. Th this is... This is one of my favorite, favorite parts, friends. Look at that! <laughs> Landfill, this is a freaking dandy. I'm gonna drive a wedge so hard into this thing, you're gonna be amazed. Okay, so watch this, friends. Watch. Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. Oh, not bad, but uh, I could be better. Oh! Yeah, yeah, feeling feeling pretty darn good. Well, yeah, not not feeling bad. I'm 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 I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I I I'm I'm feeling okay. Uh, but I'm actually feeling just freaking wonderful. You see what I'm saying? Watka, any I I just I love it. I love it. We're going for more here. We're gonna get the other side. Look at it. Go, Bucking. Do it. Just do it, Bucking. You know you're crazy. Oh, you're nuts. You're nuts. Fucking, you're crazy. Okay. You gotta lay down on that son of a gun. You gotta. If you don't think that when you lay down on that sucker like you've never laid down on nothing before in your entire life, you're mistaken. Because when you push on that Watka real hard like that, it goes down into them cells and them pores like you never seen. If you just give it the little wipey dappy like this, a little, ooh, that's looking real sharp, isn't it? That's looking real nice, isn't it? Look at that, see? Look at how pretty my axe looks. That's wonderful. There you go, sir. All finished up and done for you. Not good enough for me, no, sir. I'm telling you right now, when you give this an extra elbow grease, Remember that old thing your parents used to say? Use your elbow grease. What, you got a piano tied to your... I used to like it. Now, landfill rat, this is for you, special for you, because I know you love Cletus, and Cletus loves you. I remember in the swamps of the Mississippi when you were stuck in the mud with your pickup truck. Uh, who knows what you were doing in there? You know what I mean? Well, we got you out. I'm telling you right now, landfill rat, this is one main axe. Oh, oh, it is nice. It is real nice. Okay, my job here is done, friends. I'm just gonna get you turned up here a little bit like that, and there we are. I'm on back on, Buckin. It's coming back on now, my job's done. I'm gonna go get Buckin, and he's gonna get a wedge. Oh, let me just straighten that out. Right now, right now, right on. I told you that, didn't I? Okay, good. Here we go. I got the slurps again tonight. You see, I get them slurps. I, it's just, it, it, it happened to me when I lost my lip like that. All of a sudden, I got the slurps. <laughs> Some of my good buddies call me that, actually, slurps. <laughs> but that's a personal and a friendly joke. That's not for you guys to call me, okay? Don't call me that. Call me Cletus. That's my name. I told you that, didn't I? Don't call me slurps. This axe handle's wonderful. Just wonderful. All right. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Look at this, friends. Mr. Landfill Rat, I am honored to work on your axe tonight with this and Billy Ray. This is gonna be a mean splitting axe. Okay, I'm gonna get Billy Ray, hang on. All right, thanks, Cletus. Cletus, you're a good man, thank you, sir. Wow, oh, this is nice. Oh, Landfill, this is nice. God, I like doing these things. 
I, I wish you guys could get the whole. Uh, you you can, can't you? Can you can you get it? Do do you get the whole thing? Does it does it do it justice? Oh, gosh darn it! I stopped heating the bottom of my handles probably six months ago. Yeah, I did. It puts checks on it. It's the end of the wood, it's the extremity. They'll crack, it's not the end of the world, but they get heat check, they do. And I, I don't mind it. This is a wicked ax. <laughs> it is, it's freaking straight up and down. It's nice, but what you'll get with straight up and down, friends, you will get it, you'll get this. Me. Your handles will bend. I've seen mittens full of them that have gone and just tweaked out. Well, think about it, the grain's running straight like this. Straight, if it's running like that, it can only do this, dive or go up. It can't bend. So it, it, there's all kinds of things to think about when you're thinking about grain orientation. We're at 11 minutes already. You've got to be kidding me. I want to get this one up too. Landfill, let's send this one out now to, the, to, the, to our friends, shall we? So Landfill, she's, cause these, if I keep these videos on these, um, excuse me, on these iPhones, friends, under like, I don't know, I think it's 13 or 14 minutes, I can send them right out on the, on the phone. And I think they come up okay, don't? Some of them come up um, 240, but others come up like HD. I don't get that part. I, I, I honestly don't understand that part. Is it on my phone? Is the setting on my phone? I don't really know. Man, I hope you people are doing good tonight. It's a glorious evening here tonight. It is. It's about eight o'clock. It's probably later than that, actually. I'm gonna go in. But I wanted to come out and work on Landfell's last axe. Friends, I got axes to ship this week. Coming, big time. The mad one, your axe is going out. I can't even think straight right now. Why do I even try? Uh, All I know is there's a boat. I got two wedge bangers, skookum wedge bangers going out. I, I've got the names here. Oh, I'm not even gonna, well, let's have a look. Let's take a quick peek. Let's see. I've got wedge bangers. I've got wedge bangers. I've got wedge bangers. Yes, I do. Wedge bangers. My oh my oh my. John. The mad one. Phil's is out. Tim Robbins. Andrew Rodriguez. Oh, yes, all right. Andrew. We built your axe, didn't we? Yeah, we did. What do, the Sager. <laughs> do you want to see it? Let's look. Where's Andrews? Oh, it's all hit me now. Yeah, it's all hit me now. Andrew Rodriguez. I'm going to give you a little shot of your axe, Mr. Andrew Rodriguez. It's right in my freaking hand. It's a freaking Sager. And you know what, Andrew Rodriguez? Yeah, it's done. Look at that. Look at friends, Andrew Rodriguez's Sager. It's freaking Psychinj. Psychinjo, Psychinjo, Psycho. Psycho Sager, it's beauty. Sager! Big axe, big axe. Over and out, friends. Be kind. Landfill, she's coming.